Uh, yes, hello, Melissa. This is Ray, and I wanted to make a video going over your new website with you and how you can edit your website, um, add content to your website, change the content that's currently on there, basically uh, manage your website from here on out. Um, as you see, all of the uh, revisions that you asked for were done. What I'm going to do is go over with you the uh, back-end uh, visual editor and how you can use it to manage the site. Now this is the first uh, section of your site. This is the resource center. Uh, and as you can see, when you land on the website, you're presented with a very nice, clean, easy to navigate layout. You have um, some teasers. These are basically just some articles here that you get to see a thumbnail of the image, the title of the article, and a few lines of teaser text. Uh, and then on the bottom of the website, we have the story behind the website. This is the uh, content that you wanted on the home page uh, to basically give people an overview on how the website came to be about, the purpose of the website. On the right hand side, you have a link to the forum that I set up for you. This is the chat forum. This will take people to um, the forum section of the site where they can register and uh, participate in some discussions relating to short sales, loan modifications, etc. Um, here you have the link to the second section of your website which is the listing section, um, the properties listings where people can uh, post their properties that are available and also others can look at properties that are available for um, house sitting. Uh, so there you have it, you have basically um, the sidebar area that links to the forum, the listing section, and then we have here um, an invitation for people to sign up for your newsletter. Whenever someone signs up uh, on this newsletter, you will get an email confirmation with that person's name and email address. Uh, and then we end with your logo. So um, that is the uh, basically the sidebar area, and then we have the contact us page, of course, standard contact us page. Now keep in mind that you can edit pretty much all of the pages of the website very easily um, and also all of the articles. The only part of the website that you cannot edit, you cannot edit the top header area and you cannot edit the sidebar area using your visual editor. Uh, the reason for that is because these areas are very strict um, in requirement as far as the size of the content and the type of content that can go here. Um, so therefore I don't really I don't set up clients with the uh, with the option of being able to edit these areas for their own sake. That way they don't jeopardize the website in any way. <laughs> if there's anything that you want changed in these two areas, you can always email the support department. We'll do it for you. But let me go ahead and log you into your back end and show you how you can edit all of the pages of the website, all of the content of the website. For example, if we click on this page, you see all of the links here for your government and free help page. Um, I'll show you how to edit that. I'll show you how to edit the story behind the website page. So this is your back-end login area. I've already emailed you the link and your username and password. This is the page that you come to to log in to the back-end of your website so that you can edit the content. I've emailed you already your username and password so I will not repeat that here in this video. What you do is you simply enter in the logins uh, the username and password. Once you do, you will be taken to the back end area of the website. Okay. Now, all of the um, basically, all of the the website is made up of pages, and then all of these articles here are posts. And that's how I've categorized it. What I've done is I've taken the WordPress platform, the WordPress, uh, you know, back end. Um, and I've installed it on this website so basically you can use the WordPress visual editor to edit your website. WordPress is a really good open source CMS uh, platform and um, it, web developers use it uh, very often to be able to give clients control over certain aspects of their website. So basically let's say you want to let's say you want to change the content of this page, story behind the website. Simply select that page click edit and there you go it's as simple as that what will happen is your visual editor will pop up and you can edit um, the content on this website uh, excuse me on this web page 
uh, all of the content that you see here in this visual editor is what's what appears on this page and all you have to do is just go ahead and you can see it's very much like Word um, if you've ever used Office the toolbars are very much similar uh, you should always have two rows of icons if you don't you want to click this and it'll drop down to the second row and you can add text you can make text bold you can underline text um, you can center text if you'd like basically um, everything that you can do in Microsoft Word when typing up a letter you can do in this visual editor you can even um, add pictures and images from your computer so let's just do one just as an example um, and I'm just going to pick one out at random here so basically you on your computer select the picture that you want to edit and uh, let me just select one here just at random just to show you how this works we can choose this one here and uh, it's really like I said if you've ever typed up a letter in Word you can use this this system should be very familiar you select whether you want the image aligned to the left centered right whether you want it to be full size medium or a thumbnail we'll select thumbnail and you simply insert and there you go you've now added a picture and if you click on it you can even go here click on extra attributes and go to advanced settings and put a border around it for example put a little bit of spacing between the picture and the text and as you can see you've updated the content of this page now um, please do not change any of these other settings here at all um, all you want to do is spend all your time here in this top area you do not want to change any of the page attributes or any of these options here um, you can even change the title of the page if you like and then once you click update once you click update the changes will take effect immediately so if we click refresh here you will see that the changes have taken effect see it's that simple um, let's go ahead and delete this out make this uh, back the way it was there we go I don't want to leave this page uh, like that so you simply change everything back the way it was click update and once you've clicked update you can go here refresh and all of the changes are instant so there you have it it's very simple to change the pages of the website and all you do is just go to your back panel to all pages select the page you want to edit and then begin editing it now if you want to create a page you just simply click add new so it's really very self-explanatory add new you can add the title of your page create your page and you can click publish now if you want to save the page to where it's only saved in your back panel but not live on the front end always keep it in draft mode but once you click publish it will go to publish mode and then it will be visible on the home on the uh, website now um, posts let me go over what posts are if we go here to your website you'll see that what I've done is I've set up um, several articles here um, for you relating to short sales and um, real estate assistance for people that are behind on their mortgage these, these are just some general articles that I took from the internet that were free license articles and um, what I've done is I've attempted to set you up with a blog section of your website uh, now you've asked me to leave this dormant for now but you can go in here and rewrite all of these articles and then whenever you're ready you can simply add a blog link here and a blog link in your sidebar and we'll be glad to do that for you and these articles will rotate on the website giving people some nice content to scroll through and and read um, but again that's um, that's something that you can do down the road if you like um, and that's pretty much the uh, the extent of your back panel um, these other areas tools profiles links media you, there's no reason for you to uh, adjust those at all the only reason I've, I've installed this back panel is to give you access to the pages and the posts for your blog 
these other areas I would leave untouched. Um, adjusting any of those settings could affect the link structure of your website and throw some links off and make them not function properly. Please only stay in pages and posts. If you have any questions, email the support department and you'll be well on your way. Um, and that's pretty much everything you need to get started on editing your website and adding new content. Um, all of these icons here will link automatically. Um, so all of these, uh, excuse me for the lag in the video there, um, all of these links here for Facebook, Twitter, um, and your social links will be updated for you. If, if those ever need changing, you can simply email the uh, support department. We'll be glad to take care of that for you. Um, and that's basically uh, concludes this video on how to edit your website. If you have any questions, please feel free to email the support department. Thank you.